Good morning, Paul. Good morning, Rosie. And yes, it's going to be a really, really busy day. It's kicking off in about 10 minutes. This is BCG Charity Day 2022. We're going to be seeing the brokers, some of which are behind me right now, joining celebrities to try and raise millions of pounds for charity. And you can see, actually, uh, the jackets that they're wearing are the traditional jackets that they would wear back in the day on the trading floor. And what they have on their sleeves is what they are trading on. So we're on the Sterling desk right now, obviously trading trading uh, in sterling, but there's other uh, jackets around the room and you can already feel the excitement in the atmosphere building as they get ready to start making those trades at 9am. That's when the celebrities will start to arrive. They're all going to be on the phones asking those clients to give millions of pounds to charity today. And all of these brokers are actually going to be giving away their commission. They're all working for free today. All of that money is going to charities, not only 9-11 charities, but British ones as well. But usually this happens every single year on the 11th of September to commemorate the 658 BCG employees that died in the 9-11 attacks in the World Trade Center in uh, New York in September 2001. Well, earlier I spoke to the COO, uh, Sean uh, Windiat, who told me more about the day and about the colleagues that he lost. It all started, obviously, from the terrible, terribly sad events of 2001, SEP 11, when uh, you know, we lost everybody in our building who was in the building in, uh, in New York at that time. And, and for us, you know, having, uh, the first thing for us to do was to look after the families, the, the people that we lost, and the, people, you know, the fire service people helping out in New York on that day. And, and once we'd done that, the next thing to do was we thought we now need to, to embrace that day, turn it into something much more positive, and, uh, and raise a lot of money for charity. And Sean, you actually were there on that day, weren't you? You were here in London, you were speaking to colleagues in the US. This must mean so much to you this day. Oh, look, this day is, is, is one of... It's, 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 look, it starts off as a very sad day for me because you remember, and exactly as you said, I was actually on the phone talking to one of my colleagues in, uh, in New York at the time. And then, so whenever you start this day, you start in a little dark moment and you have those personal thoughts. And then what better way to, to remember it, though, by then turning it into something positive. And uh, this charity day, and as you say, the 18th charity day, uh, is, uh, is always such a special day in our calendar. That's Sean Windy out there. He's the COO of BCG. And as he said, this started as a 9-11 charity fundraiser. Now it has evolved into helping so many British charities. You can see here uh, Batsy Cats and Dogs Home. They're going to be supported today. St. Francis Hospice as well. And Haven's House Children's Charity. All of these names so familiar to many British people and very close to many British people's hearts as well. And we're going to see many celebrities here today. They'll be arriving in the next 10 minutes. We're going to see the likes of Sadie Frost, Damian Lewis, Rio Ferdinand, Holly Willoughby, all of these names coming together with the brokers to raise millions of pounds for really good causes.